use an invoke web service to do an API call in Microsoft Power Automate desktop. We need to fill in some parameters. These are details about your API and you will always have documentation around the API that you're trying to connect to. So what we're doing today is to connect to another system that will be an API a developer has built for us where we can get data from or even send data. The first one that we need is a URL. The URL is often also called endpoint. So we go to our documentation. Today it's the Star Wars API, a demo API, which you will find at the swappy.info. Navigate to the documentation. Here we have a getting started and how we make our first API request. Copy this URL without the quotation marks. Then you go to Power to Make Desktop. Control V to paste it in. The method is get. We want to get some data from this API. Later, we will talk about how we can send data to an API. What format will the response from this API comes in? And if I look at the documentation, I can also see a response here. This is in a JSON format. You can see that when it's a curly bracket in the start and in the end. And the data is sorted in key value pairs with a colon between in double quotation marks and comma separated. Down here, we will have an array that is this hard bracket. So this is a JSON. Change the XML with JSON. The variables produced, that will be the headers, the response here, and the status code. This is metadata about the request. This is the actual response, which we will going to use. And the status code, how does this call go? Was it a success or did it face an error? Click run and you will see that we have a status code of 200. In the end here, we have the web service response headers. Try to double click that. This is the metadata. We will not use it here. In the middle, we have the web service response. Double click that. And we have information about Tatooine, which was ID1 up here in the planets. Let's click close. Then we can also, if I go to the documentation and scroll a little bit down to resources, let's say we want information about the people in the Star Wars. Let's copy this URL. You often want to fetch information from the systems that could be your customers or employees and get information into Power Automate Desktop. That's what we do here. Go back to Power Automate Desktop. Open the Invoke Web Service. Control V, paste this one in. Hit save. Go say run. Another 200. Double click the web service response. And here we will have information about Luke Skywalker. C3PO, R2D2 and all the characters here. Go back to the documentation and scroll a little bit down. We can also add an ID to this endpoint to get a specific character. That will be this one here. Open up the invoke web service, control V or add a slash and one. They save. Go click run. Another 200. And if I double click here, I will see I fetch data about Luke Skywalker. Your next video is about advanced Microsoft Power Automate desktop. It will take you to every concept that you need to learn. It's right here.